Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, especially if you're a big time college football fan, whether it's the Miami Hurricanes or the Clemson Tigers. Okay, um, they're going to play each other later in the year, but I figured I'd go ahead and get it out the way, get my prediction out the way. Okay, you have Clemson. They are probably going to have the best defense, if not one of the best defenses in college football. Uh, their offense has been shaky. I still don't see where it's going to make a significant leap to where it's overwhelming like it was with Lawrence or Deshaun Watson playing at quarterback. Uh, it's in Death Valley. I have to go with Miami. Miami has the better quarterback. I think the offensive line for Miami will be better than Clemson's offensive line. I think even though Clemson's receiving core is probably the best in the ACC in terms of talent, Miami, if you look closely at Miami's offense, they've always had some really good receivers for these last several years. That's why they've won a lot of their games or why they've been in close games because of their receivers that can catch passes. They're tight ends, too. they got very athletic tight ends over there. Miami's defense has been the question. But because I think Clemson's offense will be so not terrible, but it won't be very good this year, and I think that the offensive line is still going to struggle. Here's the thing. Usually when an offensive line struggles – it's not going to be patched up and fixed in one offseason. It doesn't work that way. So I think it's going to struggle again. Miami's defense won't be elite, I don't think. But I don't think it's going to be undisciplined or play as bad as it has in the last few years. As a Florida State fan, I think it's going to be good enough to win games. I think you take away the, the, the silly penalties that they had, the offsides, um, roughing passer, pass interference, all the, the silly stuff that they can take away. I think that'll give them a bigger chance to win this game. I think uh, because Clemson's offense, I think, is going to struggle anyway. If they can stop Will Shipley from running the football, which I think they can slow down, I think Miami can win this game. I just think Miami's offense is going to be good regardless of who they play on defense. You know, the opposing defense. This isn't a rivalry game like Florida State, Miami, Florida, Florida State, Ohio State, Michigan, where the underdog team, or I think the less lesser talented team in Miami in this case, Shouldn't win this game. That rivalry is going to bring the best out of the underdog in most cases. So I would have to go with, um, since that pressure is not there, I have to go with Miami. I think Miami wins this game by at least a touchdown, maybe 10 points. I think Clemson is going to have too many times with, again, DJ Uyungale or it's the freshman quarterback. I can't say his name, so I'm not going to try. It took me a while to say DJ's whole name, right? I just think whoever the quarterback is is going to struggle most of this year. I think that... uh. They're not going to be able to convert third down very well. Um, it's possible now with a freshman quarterback that they have playing throughout the year, he gets better. I still don't think it's enough to beat a top 10 quality, t talented team like Miami. I think Miami's going to be a top 10, top 15 team, minimal by the time they play. They might be undefeated. So I have to go with the Hurricanes, even though it's in Death Valley. Sorry.